We present Imoka. Oh, oh, what is that supposed to mean? Looks... Imoka stands for Emotion Driven Monocular Face Capture and Animation. Hey, now I hate you. Now I hate you. Given a single image of a face as input, Imoka reconstructs an animatable, detailed 3D face model. Haven't you been paying attention there for the past? What do you think's been happening here? Oh no, I think I must have misread the signal. We go beyond previous work by recovering facial expressions that convey the correct emotional state of the input image. <laughs> stay with you? Yes. Why would I stay with you? Look at us, we're already fighting. We achieve this by introducing a novel deep perceptual emotion consistency loss during training that rewards the similarity of the reconstructed 3D expression and the expression depicted in the input image. I'm not afraid to read. The reconstructed geometry captures sufficient information for in the wild emotion recognition, with an accuracy that is on par with the best image based methods. Our model consists of two parts. A core stage to reconstruct a coarse proxy geometry, and a detail stage to model expression-dependent details. Imoka builds on top of DECA, a publicly available 3D face reconstruction framework. Specifically, Imoka augments Decker's encoder-decoder architecture with an additional trainable prediction branch for facial expression. A novel perceptual emotion similarity loss provides supervision using the reconstructed expressions during training. The emotion similarity passes the rendered 3D reconstruction and the input image through an emotion recognition network and measures the difference between the resulting emotion embedding vectors. Imoka is trained in a self-supervised fashion from a large dataset of emotion-rich images. Here you see Imoka's course reconstructions compared to the previous state-of-the-art. Our method reconstructs identity face shape with an accuracy comparable to these existing methods. Our coarse shape, however, better reconstructs the facial expressions of the input image. Our method significantly outperforms existing methods in terms of the quality of the reconstructed expression and the perceived emotional content. Furthermore, Imoka predicts high-resolution displacement maps producing detailed shapes that capture emotion-dependent wrinkles. Here we apply Imoka frame-by-frame frame to a video sequence and compare it to DECA. Please note that there is no temporal smoothing. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? He, looks, he does have a lot of money, Al. Oh, okay, now I hate you. Now I hate you! You don't think that I love Lon? Imoka captures the emotion of the actress's performance. Notice how the emotion is carried by the geometry around the eyes and the forehead. Haven't you been paying attention there for the past? What do you think's been happening here? Oh no, I think I must have misread the signal. Yeah, I guess you did. Given another image of a target person, we reconstruct their 3D face with Imoka and transfer the expression and head pose of a source subject to the target subject while retaining the source identity. Here we see the reconstructed detail shapes of three different people, animated with the pose and expression from the source expression sequence. Oh, what is that supposed to mean? He, looks, he does have a lot of money, Al. <sighs> okay, now I hate you. Now I hate you! You don't think that I love Lon? We introduce a new way of evaluating the emotional fidelity of the face reconstruction methods by predicting emotion directly from the inferred shape parameters. We train a multi-layer perceptron to map the predicted 3D MM parameters to valence, arousal and expression in a supervised setting. 
Imoka significantly outperforms the prior face reconstruction methods and also gives state-of-the-art emotion recognition performance compared to the purely image-based methods. This highlights the potential of using 3D information for emotion analysis. We also conducted a perceptual study to quantify the emotional content present in the reconstructed shapes. Participants were asked to estimate the emotion from the reconstructed faces and the corresponding images from which the shapes were estimated. The images were presented to participants in a random order. If the emotional content is perfectly preserved in the rendered 3D faces, the participants would assign them the same emotional content as the original images. We then compute the agreement of emotion classification between the images and their 3D reconstructions. Imoka outperforms the prior art by a considerable margin. We have presented Imoka the first ever in the wild single image face reconstruction method that puts an emphasis on the perceptual quality of the emotion. Furthermore, Imoka is capable of retargeting highly emotional content to different target face shapes. Imoka gives state of the art emotion recognition performance compared to the purely image based methods. Imoka sets the new standard for 3D reconstruction of emotional faces. Thank you for your attention. And now enjoy the rest of the emotional reconstruction sequence. Yeah. What about the last two days? They happen, right? Can't just take that away? No. I know that they happened. And, and they were wonderful, but they were very irresponsible. You know, I, I have a life back in Charlotte. I, I have a fiancé who's waiting for me at a hotel who's going to be crushed when I tell him what happened. And I don't even know if he's going to take me back, but I have to go talk to him. So you make love to me. Then you go back to your husband. Is that the plan? Is that a test out? I didn't pass it? Hmm? I made a promise to a man. He gave me a ring and I gave him my word. And your word is shot to hell, don't you think? Well, I don't know. I'll find out when I talk to him. So you're not going to break your promise? That's what this is about? I thought it was about following your heart, Al. Or maybe it's about something else. Let's be honest. Maybe it's about security. Oh, oh, what is that supposed to mean? You know, he does have a lot of money, Al. Oh. Okay, now I hate you. Now I hate you. You don't think that I love Lon? You smug bastard. Haven't you been paying attention for the past? What do you think's been happening here? I don't know. I think I must have misread the signal. Yeah, I guess you did. You're bored out of your head, Allie, and you know it, or else you wouldn't be here. Oh, you arrogant son of a bitch. Stay with me. N <laughs> stay with you? Yes. Why would I stay with you? Look at us. We're already fighting. Well, that's what we do. We fight, Allie. You're not afraid to tell me when I'm being an arrogant son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm not afraid to tell you when you're being a pain in the ass, which you are 99% of the time. But I'm not afraid oh. to hurt your feelings, Alec, because they got a two-second rebound right before you back to the next pain in the ass thing. <laughs> so? So, it's going to be hard. We're going to have to work at this, but come on. Don't take the easy way, Al. Oh. What easy way out? There is no easy way out. No matter what I do, somebody gets hurt. Well, forget about everyone then. Forget about everyone and me and him and your parents and then what you think you should do. What about you? What do you want? It's not that simple. Yes, it is, Al. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs>